Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Boston Red Sox going up against the Atlanta Braves. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go and getting to start. Spencer Strider, what's the scouting report on him? Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just go into a slumber. They've got to put up some runs, make it a little bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle every time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though, if he settles in and takes control of the game and throws a shutout. Now it's Devers at the plate. Raphael Devers. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. Rafael Devers rounds the bases, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Turner climbs in on that right side. Lifted in the air, right center field. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And the next will be the cleanup hitter, Masataka, Masataka Yoshida. Yoshida. Here comes a pinch. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. That'll fire up the dugout, and they add to the lead. It's 2-0. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So two down, Adam Duvall at the plate. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Gone! Adam Duvall hits one out, and they add a run. It's 3-0. Back-to-back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Now batting Tristan Casas. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss. One, Puts it in the air out towards left center. Harris has a beat on it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the inning. They explode with three solo homers in the inning. On to the bottom of the first. Welcome back. And today's starting pitcher, Chris Sale. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, Sale's a strikeout pitcher. And the thing about it is he'll throw strikes early, but then start teasing the zones. And that's what the great ones do. You got to make sure you elevate him, get him out over the plate. That's the only way you're going to have a chance. And it's filled up. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Sale delivers. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. One of the things you see every once in a while with a special talent is a guy who gets to the big league super fast. Chris Sale falls into that category. 13th overall pick in 2010 by the White Sox singing. And he debuted 60 days later at the big league level. Here is Matt Olson. Whips it to Casas. Ow. Here tonight, an efficient start good. to the home first, two away. Austin. Here's Austin Riley. Well, just a freak on the mound, and that delivery, something that people thought would cause injury for him early in his career, didn't. He started experience later on, but uh, no surprise that his favorite player growing ball up four. was Randy Johnson. And yeah, there's ball four. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, Matic but four. he wasn't exactly Look trying to attack the zone either. Yeah. So here's Murphy now. Murphy. Next offering is foul back. Yeah, those two guys have 
a pretty similar mechanical structure. Sale's just kind of a, a smaller version of Randy Johnson, right? Yeah, just not as tall as Randy Johnson and probably drops down a little bit more than the big unit, but he's had a tremendous amount of success. He's a World Series champion, and I think health is just the key for him to finish up a potential Hall of Fame career. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. Back at Truist Leading Park, here's ball. Christian Arroyo. The second baseman, Christian Arroyo. And the pitch. That one down the line, yes, and it goes just foul. And down on strikes, and quickly one away in the second. Here's Reese McGuire. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. He flexes his power with that swing, and they add on. It's 4 nothing. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. One down. Here's Kike Hernandez. Righty delivers. And that one is lifted in the air. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Two down. Here's Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. The 2 1. To the right side, Albies. The throw to first, and Verdugo is set down. And that'll do it. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. It's now a 4 0 ball game. You're dialed into the show. We head to the bottom of the second. Here is Ozzie Albies up to it. Second baseman, Ozzie Albies. Next offering is in for a strike. Back toward him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. The other way, and he beats the shift. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. One and two now, Sale. Just oh. misses with that one. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency oh, on the yeah. corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit. So he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on when you're expecting it to become more consistent. The 3 oh, 2 is oh, off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Got a great back and forth, and that at bad. He had to lay off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there, not much to it, and I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. Two away now. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Next offering is fouled back. Pitch misses inside. It's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Ozzie flying around third. One run across. Ozuna around third. 
Throw home, not in time, the run scores. And it's now a two-run game. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Third out, Acuna with the key double this inning. It's now 4-2. On to the third inning, and stepping in for Boston, Rafael Devers. The 3-1. And now it's filled up. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Next offering is fouled back. Here comes a 3-2. Fights it off, he'll see another. The wind of the pitch. Caught him looking for the K. Oh, man, just locked him up with that slider, even though it caught a lot of the zone. And I think that tells you all you need to know about what he was looking for in the box, and it clearly was not that pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. That's towards center. And Turner is retired. And there's two down. Now back, left fielder. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. He's already homered here in this one. And that's in for a strike. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that extends the inning for Adam Duvall. Really nice job, a two-strike hitting in that at bat. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Next to hit, Adam Duvall. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field, and it's gone. Adam Duvall blasts one out. His second home run of the game, and they tack on to their lead. It's 6-2 and their fifth home run of the game. Some things in this sport are contagious, Boog, and right now for these guys, clearly it's the long ball. Base is empty with two away. And next for the Red Sox, Tristan Casas. 0 for 1 so far. So a foul ball makes it 1 and 2. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. He's there. It's a two-out double. Up next for the Red Sox. We all saw his hit hard, but how hard was it, Singy? Statcast is here with the answer. Yeah, Boog, it says the exit velo was 113 miles per hour, and it looked every bit of it, didn't it? I mean, just an impressive swing of the bat, and clearly... He saw it out of the pitcher's hand, no problem. Puts the squeeze on that one. That is the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. Now a 6-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Stepping in the long ball threat, Austin Riley. Line drive, base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's got a leadoff double. you got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Next pitch has popped up. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. Now batting. The center fielder, Michael Harris, the next to hit. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And sale deals. And now two and two. One out and a runner at second. 
In the air to left center. Hernandez sizing it up. Grabs it on the run. Two away. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. One and two now. Sail back to work. Stays alive. Sail ready. And that one got a piece of him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Now that can happen when you're trying to dive out over the plate so you can control the outer half. Very difficult to get out of the way of good velocity in. There's Hernandez handling the chance. They get the force. That's the third out. Inning over. Two left for Atlanta. They still trail it here. Back here at the ballpark. And here is Reese McGuire. Reese McGuire. In the air, right field. Acuna has it sized up. He makes the grab. And there's one down. And the batter will be the shortstop. Enrique Hernandez. Right-hander kicks, deals. One, two. The punch out there, two out. Alex Verdugo up next for the Red Sox. Alex Verdugo. Two and one now. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Safely into second. He's got a double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Harris makes the catch, and that's the third out. So one hit is all they get. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Red Sox. Back here in Atlanta, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Eddie Rosario. Sail in a one-two. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. He'll touch them all, and they cut into the lead. It's 6-3. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Here's Orlando Arcia. He popped out his first time. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Lays out. He's got it. Nicely done for the out. Great cat like reflexes right there. Lays out, knocks the ball down, and then fires with that rocket arm all the way across the diamond. Man, put this guy on the mound. Here's Acuna now. One for two. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Now all even up. That one oh, ran yeah. inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. That one ripped. That's back there. That one is gone. Matt Olson goes deep, and they inch closer. It's 6-4. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. So two away with nobody on. Down the third baseman, Austin Riley. The 1-1. One -one. That's out to center field. Duvall makes the play, and it's out number three. But the long ball was working. Welcome back. So now Turner in on that right side.
the designated hitter, Justin Turner. And he deals. There's a strike. The Braves' bullpen has some activity. Nick Anderson getting ready to go. Lee getting cranked up as well. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Gone! Justin Turner takes him deep. And they add a run. It's 7-4. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Here comes a skipper out of the dugout and new pitcher now, Colin McHugh. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Colin McHugh. Now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. He's already homered in this game. That one's on its way. No question about it. And that one will go. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they boost their lead. It's 8-4. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Adam Duvall. Ball to strike. Hard hit left side. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. And now the first now baseman, bad. Tristan Casas. Tristan Casas. Out to center. Harris hauls it in, and there's two away. So stepping in for Boston, Christian Arroyo. The second baseman, Christian the two on. Arroyo. They say it went. Here's an interesting note on Colin McHugh. From 2017 to 2022, the five years that he played, every team he played on won 100 games. And down on strikes he goes, and that'll do it. But the long ball was working in this inning. Back at Truist Park, to the batter now, Sean Murphy. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make it. So a lefty out of the pen, Richard Blyer. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And now the lefty bounced to third. To first, and a quick out number one. Let's do Now batting, center fielder. Michael Harris, next up for the Braves. That one the other way. Makes the grab for the second out. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. This to center field. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Braves go down quickly here. They're unable to make a dent in an 8-4 deficit. All set for the top of the six. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Reese McGuire. Reese. The pitch. McGuire. That one is absolutely belted. And it hits the fence. McGuire into second, and he's got a double. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. And stepping in for Boston, Enrique Hernandez. There's a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. McGuire at second with nobody out. Here's a high fly ball out to center. 
Harris puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Alex Verdugo. One for three. Runner at second here, one gone. Ripped on the ground a second, slings to first, and Verdugo is set down. Now batter, third baseman, Rafael Devers. Here's Rafael Devers. Devers, the baby faced assassin. The 2 1. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Justin Turner would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. And a 3-1 on the way. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two outs with a runner at third. And Devers hits that one. Base hit, and a run comes in. The throw in. He's in safely at second as a run scores. That ball was drilled 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swim mechanics. Man at second here with two away. Justin Turner up next for the Red Sox, and he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. The left unit. So first and second with two outs. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good job at damage control right there. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's the Braves DH, Marcelo Zuna. Marcelo Zuna. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Next offering is foul back. Swings here and blasts one left field. That one hops against the fence. Around first and hustling for second. And he starts the bottom of the sixth with a double. He was all over that one. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Swing and a miss struck him out. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle, so. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Man, it's second. Battling here as he fouls it away. Ozuna, the runner at second with one away. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Started after it, appeal to first, and that's a strikeout. Mike Fillmore says he went around. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Lined in the left center, base hit. Ozuna around third. Duvall throws to second, and he's in there. A run comes in on the play. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. And now Matt Olson up to hit. Man on second, two down. Ball. Next offering is outside. Well, that ball is hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. Runner at second, two down. Ground ball to the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering, and Olsen is set down. They limit the damage here. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Dylan Lee. So stepping in for Boston, Adam Duvall.
1 1 now. That one lifted to left. One down. Just pull off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Action in the pen down there. Nick Anderson appears to be getting loose. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. That one ripped right center field. And gone! He leaves the yard to right, and they add a run. It's 10-5. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. And now it's going to be Christian Arroyo. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there are two down. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. At the belt and fires. Popped up. Reaches for it, but it's foul. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Swings and misses. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches there. Back here at the ballpark, bottom what of the seventh. Here's the, the third, third baseman, Austin third Riley. Baseman. Austin Riley. And a pitch. And there's a ball. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Swing and a miss. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. That misses, and it's three and two. And that one hammered. Duvall going back, back some more, leaping, and it's gone. Austin Riley goes deep, and they cut into the deficit. It's 10-6. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Here's Sean Murphy. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The pitch. On the ground to third. Devers throws on to first, and one away in the bottom of the seventh. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. It's a ball and two strikes. Next offering is fouled back. Fouls it off, still one and two. One down, base is empty. Bounce to the left side. Hernandez over to first in time. That's it out. Now back, second baseman. Now it's the second baseman, Ozzy Albies. Fights that one away, still one and two. And okay. another ball. Just not taking the bait right there, but a good pitch with two strikes. Still two and two after the foul ball. Out of the left center for a line drive base hit. Love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely, and that takes quick, strong rip. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that ball is out of here. 
He'll circle the bases, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 10-8. Just relentless. This team will not quit. Well, Boog, I feel like we're seeing more of this these days than we ever have before. You've got high velocities on the mound. You've got stronger hitters. With They hand the ball over to a new arm, John Schreiber. And I can't imagine Number any 46. save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know no. those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close oh. it out. Now one missed. Orlando Arcia on deck for Atlanta. Foul ball. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to Casas. That's the third out. But the long ball was working in this. And welcome back. Now it's the shortstop, Enrique Hernandez. And the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And there's one down. Alex Verdugo up next for the Red Sox. Alex Verdugo. Out towards right center. That's well struck. It bangs off the wall. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top one of it. The 1-1 one -one is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. Line drive, base hit, right center field. The run comes in from second, and they take a three-run lead. It's a double, third hit of the night for them. Big at bat to pad their lead up to three. Absolutely punished that pitch. Wasn't fooled in the slightest. 109 off the bat. That means you put a pretty good swing on it. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Nick Anderson. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now Justin Turner gets a chance to hit. In the air, right field. Acuna there. Squeezes it. Out. Number two. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Masataka Yoshida. Anderson ready to work. In the air, left field, down the line. And that is that. Red Sox with an RBI double, home half of inning number eight. Out of the bottom of the eighth, and now here is Orlando Arcia. And a foul ball. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Next offering is foul back. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Bows it back with two strikes. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. Foul ball still a one and two count. In the air out to center. Makes the catch for the out. Matt Olson up to the plate. Ball to strike. The pitch. 
Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Goes down looking. Down in order. Go back here in Atlanta. Now at the plate, Adam Duvall. And the 3-1. This to third. And he grabs it in foul ground. He goes down looking. Well, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. And the righty deals. Smoked on the ground a second. Throws to first. Two up, two down. Now back. Second baseman, Christian. Christian Arroyo up next for the Red Sox. Next one is off the play, and it's two, two and one. One strike. Out towards left center. Harris has a beat on it, and he makes the catch. And that is the third out of the inning. Last chance for the home team. Now in for the Braves. Austin Rock. Kenley Jansen into the game. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And yeah, the right-hander deals. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. And next for Atlanta, Sean Murphy. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Kicks and fires. And a count one and two. Right-handed reliever. Swings and misses. Struck him out. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. Down to their final strike. And that just misses. On the ground to Devers. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Red Sox slug their way to a win in this one. Well, we saw both teams come ready to swing it in this one, and they found a lot of success. A couple of touchdowns up on the board today. Pretty amazing. And it turned out to be a close one, considering all the runs put up really wild.